Hello folks, it's David at DCS UK and Nigel and I are here at the, what do they call it now Nigel, it's not the Rico anymore, it's the Coventry Building Society Arena and we are filming today from our outside broadcast unit which is Nigel's dogging wagon <laughs> which, which Linda's currently inside. So let's get in there and we'll have a little chat about this year's Elect Show which is the first obviously since 2019 what with all that Covid bother and stuff. Uh, so yeah let's have a, a look at what we've bought shall we. Welcome inside our outside broadcast unit. I tell you what this feels very BBC2 this doesn't it? It feels very outside <laughs> broadcast. <laughs> it's quite an impressive little space you've got here Nigel. I dread to think what you get up to in it. Yeah when we're not in here and hopefully when we're not here of course we've got the lovely linda with us again you may remember her from our recent uh, sbs video drunken drunken yes as indeed we have been on efix's coin because they foolishly <laughs> allowed us free reign of the bar when we were doing their video yesterday. one of us had three pints and one of us had ten pints well i didn't know any old when i yeah yeah it suddenly sounds like you've got a drinking problem <laughs> Uh, so anyway, what do we think about this year's Alex? Linda, go. Jesus Christ, that's a big one. Um, you haven't been to Alex before, yes, have you? I have been to Alex before. Have you? Ali Pali in January 2019. Oh, you should have told us that. I did tell you twice. Um, <laughs> did you? Yes. Oh, anyway, right, so, so the, the, the trouble is, as a woman, anything you say naturally goes in one ear and out the other, as the wife can attest. So, yeah, I've yeah, noticed. Yeah, yeah. Um, in fact, my other half would have does exactly the same. Mm, it's a bloke thing. He's, he's worse than you. Um, right, moving swiftly on. There were far fewer exhibitors, which was uh, unfortunate. Yeah. We wanted to buy things like Wagos or Vargos or mm. however you pronounce them. Um, I wanted a, a rolling, a rolling trolley. What? Tr rolling tool bag. Yeah. Rolling tool bag. Um, nothing suitable. Um, what did you think, Nigel? Again, I d the same as you. I thought they were less. Uh, exhibitors, um, fewer you know, exhibitors. And don't you not correct his grammar? That's so rude. What he corrected your grammar? Did he? Yeah. Oh. Tell us about the fewer exhibitors. Oh. Exhibitors. You said oh. lesser. Oh, lesser. Fewer. Right, right. Fewer. Okay, now this is hard work. Fewer, less. Fewer. Uh, what the? F just what the fuck? Pedant. Uh, Carry on. Fuck Carol. off. <laughs> anyway. We wanted to get some uh, rods because we've snapped quite a few yellow ones. Uh, and we're always losing the ends, aren't and we? The we're constantly the losing the bits. And they cost a fortune, but we have to top them up there. Um, now, CK were there with their rods, but they went into interchange. Mm. With, you know, Where was Super Rod? Where was, Where was Super, Super Rod? Rod? Where was NIC? I, you know, I don't like the fact that NIC can't be asked to attend these events because can. yeah you know even if you're even if you just got a a geezer on the stand to answer questions and to yeah. to, to pre represent the face of the industry that we you know pay a lot of money to and yes you've, you've got napit here where and i see eca were here eca were had a word with them um kevin at eca uh but yeah and i see notable by their absence a lot of notable by their absence hager where's hager yeah, but uh, there were only two board manufacturers yeah. here. Schneider wasn't one of them, they were Schneider missing as well. Yeah, who, who was here? We had Chint and Chint Europa. And Europa, yes. Were the only board manufacturers here. Uh, well, yes. I, there was also the Aleutian stuff on Skolmore stand. Yeah. But, uh, yes, yeah, notable big names missing. missing. Notable small names missing as well. Uh, SPD, yeah. thought Kirsty might have been here. Um, Quickwire. We, oh, yeah, yeah, they were missing as well. So yeah, a lot, a lot of people. So I think, to, uh, to be fair, the uh, organisers of the event, I'm told, have had to scale it down because of COVID to keep the numbers down. But yeah, it's, you'd it's have thought those big hitters would have been here. Though. Yeah, yeah, and a shame because uh, even and it's strange because we we um, we often stock up here, don't we? We often replace we our do. broken tools and whatever. Pi and piles of Vargos and are make missing as well. You know, yes. these, 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 we, we usually we normally stock make up with a line for our yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. so there's, there's there's a lot of places that we we rely on alex a lot of exhibitors that we rely on alex for who were absent this time around and even though wago were here vargo wago whichever Vargo. Uh, they um didn't have anything to sell did they and normally yeah. we come out with carrier bags full of uh connectors and connects boxes and that sort of stuff all so. they had were well three weird guys in red t-shirts 
yeah, Efix were hanging around on the <laughs> yeah. on the Wego stand. Mm -hmm. uh, it was good to see Efix. It was. It was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it was good to drink. Drink their, 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 their coin last night. Absolutely. So uh, I, I didn't buy much. All I bought was what I actually spent money on was the TIS auto ranging tester. This is Linda's because she bought one as well. Uh, with its screwdriver set, the, the Rhino tester. I'm not going to talk about that because it was all talked about on eFix last night, wasn't it? Oh yeah, so but go, just, go see just mention how cheap it was because I'm going to get into trouble if I've been seen to spend a vast amount of money. Uh, which the, your might. heart's going to give you some, yeah. some trouble. 150 quid. No, bollocks. <laughs> that, that was 35 quid. It's, it's 35 quid? Line. Never. That's a fucking bargain at 35 quid. <laughs> Couldn't have been. So uh, yeah, that, that's all I came out with. Linda's got one quid. as well. 35 quid. Uh, you got some stuff over there as well, haven't you, Linda? Because you've really been stocking up. Oh, yes. Okay, but most importantly, most, most importantly. Oh right, okay. Uh, my ear defenders. I mean, this is this is a, a, a crucial piece of kit. Um, sorry, can you see the camera? Active. Active noise cancelling. Yeah. But um, with Bluetooth, so you can listen to your whale music or whatever the whale fuck you music listen to. Or when you're... white noise or Pink Floyd, as the guy I played last night. Um, amazing kit, cancels noise, and also, I mean, I cannot. I mean, I can't even work with you when you've got the multi-tool out. Mm. Um, it's too painful. And I, I find it really painful when he's got his tool out. <laughs> when he's talking, he I can do with some of that. Yeah. <laughs> right, so that was my number one purchase. Um, health and safety cost 90 quid, but... Um, 90 quid? That was 150 quid <clears throat> as well. Bollocks. 90 quid and um, an essential bit of um, PPE. Yes, absolutely. Uh, What's this? Jesus Christ! I, I, I just don't, just don't sniff it or anything. Well, we don't know where it's been. Uh, you got the the weirers, weirers, weirers. Oh yeah. I mean, we've been confused about how to pronounce Devolt yesterday. She was calling it Devolt, and I was like, it what? Is Devolt. Devolt. It, it is. It is Devolt. Devolt. Yeah, if you but come from a Germanic mm, language. Yeah, uh, but like I do. Devolt. Mm. Yeah, we'll just stick with what we know. I think. I got some. I got some weirers. N nothing. Nothing spectacular. You got a very fancy uh, torch there as well, don't you? Work light. This is something I saw. It was 150 quid too. It was not. I saw this. Tell you what, at this, this woman's got massive amount of money stashed somewhere. No, mm. no, what, she's no, no. rich. No. If you're Linda's other half, oh, she has been spending a lot of money. Oh, don't tell Paul. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but the only thing you, you, the only thing I ever spend my money on is tools. This is a like a gooseneck. I saw this rechargeable LED USB magnetic. rechargeable magnetic magnetic. magnetic. It's, it's the strongest magnet you can possibly imagine, and it's got an, uh, a tablet holder and an extension. Yeah. And um, I saw this at Alex 2019. And oh, right. I desperately wanted it, and I held off. And this time I didn't. And now Christmas has arrived. Because <laughs> there was uh, the Unilight stand as well, like, and um, they had some nice lights, but we didn't get anything from them. Yeah, I've got so, so many work lights. An amazing <laughs> light um, stands the magnet. The magnet's so um, strong, I couldn't pull it apart. Right, so anyway, moving to the Linda has also bought herself an earth leakage clamp meter. We looked at a couple, didn't we? Mega and Ethos. Uh, you went for the 500 quid Mega. I didn't. It wasn't 500 quid. I've got a 1741 um, and I've been wanting a earth leakage clamp for ages. So that's my earth leakage clamp and it, it did cost a lot. And big shout out to Lee from Mega. Uh, he slipped me one. <laughs> well, he actually slipped me two. Um, it was really kind of him. Thank you. Um, it all helps. Uh, so Lee with his generosity there. He yes, very generous. Didn't tell you what. Zippy that, was, doodah, did he? <laughs> that was extremely generous. <laughs> No matter who came up and hugged me, I wouldn't start giving away merchandise like that. I gave Lee, my, I gave obviously, my more generous than me. <laughs> Just to say that the merchandise given wasn't the clamp meter, so oh, yeah, 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 that. No, yeah, no. it's uh, a couple of smaller items. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, very kind but of Lee. There. I tell you what, I'll give Lee a hug if he's going to uh, give me a couple of items for free. Hell, I'll give him a hand job. <laughs> 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 or get an eye to. <laughs> Uh, and we met an awful lot of people this week as well, haven't we? And we said to, to each one that came up to either uh, shake our hands or punch us in the face, because we got, uh, well, got a couple of them, didn't we? That we would um, give them a shout out. So uh, let's uh, give a shout out now to all the people that we've bumped into in this event, or at least the ones that we managed to remember to photograph. Yes. So sorry um, if we've got to photograph the names you. And <laughs> yes. Go. 
Now then, pop pickers. Charting in at the top of today's list are Adam and Mo from 786 Electricals in Leicester, who like things so much on Thursday, they were back for more on Friday. Ben from Chesterfield collared us at what is perhaps the slowest serving cafe I've ever visited, where I waited a full 20 minutes for a cup of fucking coffee and an overpriced prawn sandwich. Still, it was good to make your acquaintance, Ben. Flying the Norwegian flag was the rather wonderfully named Hans Berg. Hans, I can confirm your booking is in the diary, so we'll meet again. Don't know where, don't know when. Actually, I do. It's in feckin' Knoll on the 28th. Horace here smashes into the lineup by perhaps spending far too much on the Weera stand. I hope they did you a good deal there, H, and you've got some shiny new toys to play with. A chart entry by the duo that are Neil and Tristan from NC Electrical, who found us lurking at the Skullmore stand. Tristan, I'm sorry your young ears have been exposed to my ribald misuse of the English language, and I hope your shoulder gets better soon, young man. Chris Conlon caught us sneaking into the venue on day two, somehow without my having a hangover despite the best efforts of the Efix lads to decant Amstel down my gullet at the end of day one. I caught up with Chris again inside, I hope the stripping knife you were showing me does the do for you Chris. Sliding down the charts were Tim Marsden and his tall colleague Callum. Tim and I put the world to rights a few times before on some long phone calls, so it was good to meet in the flesh at last, although somehow I always pictured you differently Tim as I masturbated while talking to you on our previous phone calls, but never mind, it won't stop me from sticking my hand down my pants next time we have a chat. We bumped into Michael Sharp outside the Nipex stand, where we both put the boot into NICEIC's absence. They like taking our money, just not mixing with the masses at these events I guess. Better things to do with their time maybe, but we were not impressed. My man Mustafa here was in on day one. Good luck with your upcoming Naped assessment, Mustafa, although we've chatted before and I know you're going to smash it. Do let me know how it goes. In what is perhaps the most unflattering photo ever taken that neither he nor I are likely to frame any time soon, it was a pleasure to again bump into Chris from the CJR channel. I'm sorry about the camera work, Chris, but then we minnows down at the shallow end of YouTube subscription can't afford to upgrade from our potato cams. Thomas Hatton of Finch Hatton Group on the right here was hanging around with some reprobate, or some reprobate was hanging around with Tom. Either way, it was good to meet you, Thomas, old chap. One for the ladies, Simon Keel, our man in Kenilworth, shown here with what looks like Nigel mid-sneeze. Maybe you didn't catch something there, Simon, and I'm sure we'll be bumping our vans into each other outside CEF Warwick again in the future. A new entry all the way from Essex. I had a good long conversation with Andrew Brown. A shout out too to your sparky daughter up in Scotland, Andrew. If there's one thing an electrician's trade show needs, it's glamour. And Karen Boom with Linda in front of a pile of pallets and the fucking Stanley stand is all the sparkle this show is getting. But notwithstanding, it's great to meet up at last as we managed to miss Karen at the show two years ago. Snaffling t-shirts and hats from Efix when they weren't looking and crooning his way into today's chart was Craig Gifford. Special mention to Colin Evans who was out on the band with us two years ago on a moody job we videoed but had to scrap as the microphones failed. Colin's about to go it alone in Coventry so all the best with the new venture in the city there old man. Just stay off my fucking turf in Leamington and Warwick or I'll let your bloody tyres down and stuff a spit up your fucking exhaust pipe. Why, it's not just anybody from Electrical and Test Limited, but only Darren Briddock, the bloody CEO and biggest of cheeses. Fucking right. Sorry for the photo, Darren. My old Blackberry camera doesn't do selfies so well. Speaking of which, another ruined photo shows Darren and Ian, who found me lurking outside the toilets while Linda and Nigel were each otherwise engaged. Honestly, I've never seen two people need to piss so much. That, that's Linda and Nigel, I don't know what Darren and Ian's toiletry habits are like. Maybe DM me with the details guys and I can update everyone in a future video. Cheers. The Doctor Electric lads came, saw, filmed something for Skullmore and probably fucked off to the bar. Still, it was good to bump heads at the Metro stand there lads. Keep an eye on the SGTV channel to see what these two got up to on the day. Simon Gould and the not pictured for some reason Richard Thornton made an appearance, or not representing Mr. Fusebox. I hope you had a good show, lads, despite Nigel here farting in your presence. Just in and making an appearance, having bagged a free hat from the Efix boys is John Quirk. Looking good, John. Nice to meet you on the day. Making his chart debut is Paul Hurst, who caught us window licking at the Nipex stand and rightly took the piss out of Nige, much to his chagrin. Good on you, Paul. A pleasure to meet Raj and Shashi from RP Electrical on day one, and Raj, I saw you there on day two, so I know you were skiving off the job and looking to buy more toys. I hope you chaps sniffed out a bargain or three. 
Popular duo Richard and Christopher from RD Electrical caught us early on day one. Good to meet you fellas, I trust you too found something for the toolbox you didn't know you ever needed and that you feel you perhaps paid too much for. And at number one, sticking his finger up Linda's ass while simultaneously grabbing Nigel's junk is only Phil the fucking plumber who was suckered into the show by the tool fair ticket, little realising it's really all about electrical gear he'll never be able to understand, being the turd strangler that he is. Philip, I openly scoff at you. One last mention to Ash who goes under the Muzzy Sparky handle on Twitter and who didn't want my digital camera pointed in his general direction. But we had a long chat and also Max at MB Installations who had nothing to do with Alex as he wasn't there. But Max, I will get back to you regarding our correspondence. Yes, uh, some shout outs as well to some of the exhibitors that we bumped into. There were yeah. plenty there who very generously gave us their time and patience. Yes. Yeah. Photos yeah, yeah. of them on the screen you, appearing here. The Metro stand was extremely Excellent. informative yeah they, they got went through that he really knew that gear he did yeah, didn't yeah, he and yeah. Uh, yeah that their new test equipment does look rather impressive compared to our old metro <laughs> yes <laughs> but we do like our metro but um yeah it's it, it, it's it's good stuff uh, and yes kudos to these guys and gals for putting up with us and yes. answering all our many Actually, questions especially as we didn't buy anything from yeah. <laughs> They talked for ages and we bought no yeah, yeah, It's very interesting, mate. Uh, we'll be off now. <laughs> the, the only place I spent money was the TIS stand and to buy a uh, another 5 amp hour battery for my Makita tools, just so I've got a, a spare. And that's all I bought there, really. And uh, I think um, the only other uh, things... Are we, we've got a couple of little bits and bobs. Efix were kind enough to finally give us one of these MK sockets because I, I haven't actually still haven't got around to buying one of these because they're exclusive to screw fix at the moment yeah. and I think they're like five for 25 quid or something I got one as well don't yes, try it. you did didn't you yeah. uh, interesting item no point in me going into detail about that because I think there's already videos eFix have got videos about that sort of thing um, whisker whisker we whisker. were quite interested in the whisker stand weren't we Nigel yes. because not only have they started doing these round boxes now which are interesting but also they have the some spring. solutions for something you highlighted. The problem with the whisker boxes is they've got a thread in their box, which is nice enough, but you can't get um, an armoured gland nut on the other side in order to banjo it to take yeah. the earth from. But they've... Unless you buy... Uh, the, their own yeah, um, the whisper, their own branded glands. glands. Now we like the uh, storm glands, mm -hmm. as we did tell them. SWA Storm. Now, Whisker make their own glands, which have got a longer thread on them, and they supply either a little brass ring that you can uh, attach to the thread inside, or, more interestingly for me, a nice simple spring that goes into the threads inside and provides that earth connection to the armour. Oh. I thought that was interesting. Now, I, d I still wish that you could use someone else's gland on a whisker box more easily, rather than forcing you into buying their own brand gland. Because I like the Storm glands. Yeah. They're, they're the latest Way of the future. glands for us to use and they are brilliant. Uh, and I wish something like that storm gland or that storm gland or anyone else's gland would interoperate better with a whisker box. So manufacturers out there, stick a longer thread on so we can interact with a whisker box. I was waiting, for, I was waiting for a gland joke. The gland joke. I was just going to say, yeah, I've never yes, heard. I, nice I, I, I do like glands. a spring around so. my glands. <laughs> The old cock ring. <laughs> uh, no free bacon roll either this year. No free no. t-shirts, no free bacon roll. I was going to forego the t-shirt. I've got loads of LX t-shirts, but yeah. Um, yeah. no free bacon roll. And what's the betting? I expect they're doing that because using COVID to say, right, we're not going to we're not going to give you out a bacon roll. What's the betting that they just don't bother bringing that back now? That and it's not only at that. If you're getting a bacon or sausage sandwich for free and it's a bit dry, just a sausage and a bit of dry bread, you're not going to complain. But when they're charging three quid yeah, for the yeah. same, no butter, nothing to moisten it up, 
that's fucking daylight robbery. Yeah, yeah, I've got to agree. I mean, you, if you're going to stick your sausage in some something crusty, you need a bit of lubrication in there. <laughs> you do, you do. Uh, <laughs> I totally agree. Uh, so yes, yeah, so the three quid, three quid doesn't well for a yeah. Uh, a couple of bits of bread and two sausages does not a sausage experience make. Yeah, too dry. Mm. You need something in there. That was hard work. Uh, <laughs> Bundy ordered a sausage and got a bacon, a clot. <laughs> <laughs> but he found it too dry as well. And, yeah. and Adam wouldn't even eat us. Oh really? Yeah, yeah the bacon not really it. slimy. And yeah. they're charging for it. If it's yeah. free, you're not going to complain. Yeah, yeah. Mm, no, no, that's 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 not very good. Um, I wonder if they do that at other elect shows. We've never been to another elect show, do, have we? No. You've never been to one either, have you, Linda? You asked me the same question Have you been to Alex? Have you been to Alex? Have you? Yes. You should have told us. Oh yeah, we could have started um, the video with that knowledge. Oh, Jesus. Right, Karen, yes. Uh, yes, it was, uh, things, the gifts were sparkling this year. I was year. just about to say, not Sp many freebies. Not many freebies. You know, I got one pen and a couple of the, um, Little blue regs book notebooks. Yeah, that's all the IT stands fucking good for, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, free gifts a bit, a uh, bit few and far between. I don't think I even got a pen. I think we got you got a TIS mug, didn't you, and a bunch of pens? I, I gave back the pens, but I don't know. I got pens. No, the, the, the pens pen. are. Can't uh, remember who from. The pens are in the bottom of my bag. LK, LK, LK. make um, <laughs> make um, sensors. PIRs, yeah, PIR sensors. Yeah. It's quite a nice one. Yeah, it's and nice time switches. One. Obviously, I, you stole one for us as well. I just, no. I just got no, plastic no, pins. Yeah. Okay, oh. I don't know. You think you can push my button if you want? The only other thing I got for free was a friggin' hat from Gifford. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes. Um, there's uh, a bin over there, mate. <laughs> I'm going to fuck my wife wearing this. <gasps> She could, she could close her eyes and imagine. She's, she's sick of seeing the, uh, the McDonald's hat, so, you know, makes a change. Oh, so you need to take the label off that one, otherwise oh, you're going to look like the Trump back. with a toilet paper off the back of his shoe, yeah. walking, up, <laughs> walking up the... Remember that? So, uh, yeah, yeah, that's... Uh, that's, um, that's that. Other than... It's a lex. It, oh, was, oh. it was smaller, it wasn't as good, and hopefully it will be better next year but there were some good people there yeah there's mass holes as well but uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we did bump into who did we bump into we bumped into uh, oh, we bumped into Adam the spark didn't we yes and uh, yeah he had some some hanger on and following him spark? around this will come in the spark yeah yeah moving quickly on just to do our buy me a coffee shout outs because we've had some generous donations Ooh, that have yes. kept us yeah, yeah, yeah. lubricated lately. Normally we do this as a screen crawl, but I've got a list here. I'm going to read them out. Uh, maybe we can take turns to read them out. Would you like to read out? Uh, first one is Ben Robinson. Thank you, Ben. Nigel. Mike Huntsaw. I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's not their real name. I was being careful there. <laughs> en Enrico Salad. Mm, indeed. Alan Isaac. Yep. Matthew. Tabor. Tabor. Good old Matty. Steve Rooney. David Cross. Andy Payne. Andy Payne again. Bloody hell, and Andy. An anonymous coward. Coward. Yeah, uh, someone who very generously donates, but don't want to don't want to admit to doing so. <laughs> Stuart Taylor. Martin O. Oh. Mr. Hamburg. Marlon Williams. Oh, that sounds like an actor. Also, uh, special mention to Tim from Sheffield, who has sent us yet again another nice letter. We've had a couple from him lately. And I want to do a shout out as well to Dave down in uh, Portland, who collared us, me and the wife, in the pub when we were on holiday there, unsuccessfully trying to book a table for our meal. <laughs> but they were full, so. But uh, nice to speak to you, Dave, down in Portland. Um, Right. Oh, I, you know. I, speaking of holidays, because I've, I've just done a week in Portland and a week in Greece. This time last week I was on a bloody Greek beach, and now I'm in Nigel's wagon here. Which why does it smell of semen in here? True. Anyway, no, we weren't near the same. <laughs> I got got you each a gift all oh. the way from Greece. No way. A little token of my esteem, if you will. What is it? I'm not sure. We've got to open it to find out. Just open it. Yeah, yeah. I'm always nervous opening a package of days. It's a, a very handy bottle oh. opener. <laughs> I, th well, I thought it was a lollipop, I was going to stick it in my mouth. <laughs> in the shape of a cock and ball. Look Nigel, yours is rainbow coloured to reflect your inclusivity. And obviously yeah. yours is black. 
Because I'm from South Africa. Well, well no, exactly. it's just because of what I hear you prefer. But a little token of mercy. I could have got bigger ones for an extra one euro fifty, but to be fair, neither of you are worth it. <laughs> <laughs> just not worth it to me. So uh, there you go, that's Quite all the way disgusting. from Greece and uh, I trust that you will put them to proper use. I'll give it the wife. <laughs> She'll like it. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so I think that's probably all we got. It's a fucking boring video. That's yet another fucking boring video from us. Um, I think that's all we got to say about Alex. Nigel, what did you think about Alex? Did it still give you a spring on? Yeah. Well, it still gave me one too. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Let's keep that down there. Uh, Linda, did it do it for you? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Very nice. So, what did you think to your first Alex? Oh, shut up. Already. <laughs> Have you been to one before? Fuck off. Have <laughs> you been to Alex? <laughs> Can't I sack you? Like I did with the, my last boss. Oh, no, you're not my boss. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you can try. <laughs> well, that, that's all from our outside broadcast unit. If we ever bother to edit this video out. But uh, thanks to all the guys and gals at Alex, and uh, see you next year for hopefully a bigger show. Oh, and your pink one? What have you been doing with this? <laughs>